I think it's important to have the correct information and the information that is uh, uh, truly a, the best that we can have. And for that, uh, my advice to the public is to first look at CDC and what, and, uh, what actually the Department of Public Health is uh, actually putting in their websites and the communications they have. I can tell you that I've been started already to go through like YouTube and all the uh, recordings that there are for Zika. And there are some that are actually not, not correct. And uh, so uh, be sure that you look at information from sources that actually can give you the accurate information. Uh, but the other part is uh, if you're in a uh, state or in like North Georgia, in Georgia, for example, or you're in Minnesota, um, a, the Aedes aegypti mosquito is not there. So the chances of getting Zika are basically uh, minimum to none. Uh, the question there ha is more uh, someone that has traveled uh, to, say, uh, Latin America or, or a place that is where Zika is circulating. If they come up back and they're sick, uh, it is important that they get appropriate uh, care. But uh, in the case of uh, if it's your spouse that actually is ill, uh, there are uh, some concerns that there might be sexual transmission of, uh, of Zika, which is not something that is not seen, say, in dengue. Uh, so you need to look at uh, a probably a having some kind of protection to avoid uh, infection uh, a probably for about three weeks. And that's something you need to talk with your doctor.